Praise God, children. How are you? We are glad to have you with us today. We welcome you to our service today. And uh, we are so blessed to have you as our viewers. Welcome to our service because we know that Jesus has something for you and for all of us today. Praise be to God. Amen. Let us start our service by, uh, with a word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you. We want to honor you for this day that you've given unto us. Father, as we start our service, we pray that Jehovah, you will guide us, you will teach us your word, O oh God, and you will bless us all. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses for forgive us our trespasses lead us not into temptations but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen amen we are now going to sing one chorus that jesus loves me jesus loves me this i know for the bible tells me so Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Welcome again, our children, and we are very glad because we know that the Lord has kept you safe. He has also kept us safe, and we really thank him for that. We are now going to say our children's creed. I believe in God the Father, who loves me and hates sins, and his son Jesus Christ, who died for my sins. I believe if I repent, he will forgive me and give me his Holy Spirit. I pray to him diligently. Amen. Amen. Now, children, we are going to go to our lesson today. And as we go to our lesson today, I want us to start by asking ourselves a question. Nataka kila mtu ajiulize swali, ama tuulizane swali. Have you ever been in a tough situation where you were so fearful, where you felt so worried that you didn't even know what will happen after? Have you ever been in a painful situation where you felt like Jesus was not with you? Have you? Tichanjeri have ever been in such situation. And when, he, when we were in those situations, those painful situations, those situations or that were hard pressing us from both sides. Imagine Jesus was with us. And that brings us to our lesson today. And our lesson today is Jesus calmed the storms. Jesus calms the storms. Praise be to God. Amen. And our scripture reading and our Bible story comes from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. And we will read together. Mark, chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. We read together. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go to the other side, leaving the crowd behind. They they took with him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other, others with, the, with him. A furious storm came up, and the, and the waves broke, broke over the boat. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, 
Don't you care if we drown? He got up and rebuked the weed and said, Quiet, be still. Then the weed died, died down, and it, it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the weed and the waves obey him. Praise be to God, children. In this story, we are told that Jesus told his disciples uh, that they cross over to the other side of the sea. And when they were crossing over to the other side of the sea, they got into the boat. When they got into the boat, suddenly, boom! Storms came and it, they started pushing the boat. They pushed the boat. They pushed the boat. They even broke the boat. When the boat was broken, the disciples were so worried. They were terrified. They were very afraid. But they remembered. They were with Jesus in the boat. So what did they do? The Bible says that they went to Jesus and called him. Jesus, upon hearing the disciples call him, he said, Quiet, be still. And immediately it was all calm. Then Jesus asked his disciples, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? Then the disciples were terrified and they asked themselves, And who is this person who even the weed obeys him? Praise be to God. Children, ask somebody next to you. Ask them, and who is this person who even the weed obey him? And this person who even the weed obey him is Jesus. I thank God because we already know Jesus. I thank God because Jesus loves us so much. And today we are talking about Jesus coming the storms. And we have read the story about Jesus coming the storms for the disciples. Today, Jesus is coming the storms for us, the storms in our lives. And I'm sure we are asking ourselves, which are the storms of life? Which are these storms that Jesus is coming for us? One, there are troubles. The troubles that we face in this world are a kind of a storm. The illnesses that we that get into us, like coronavirus, is a storm in this life. The troubles of life, the hardships, the sorrow, the, the loss, all those are, um, are storms in life. And today we have Jesus who is coming the storms for us. I am sure children, you like Tichanjeri. You would want to go with Jesus. You would want when you're faced with uh, storms, Jesus to come them for you. And that brings us to our illustration today. And in my illustration, I have two fruits. These are oranges. One is peeled and another one is not peeled. The one that is peeled is kind of a group of children and people who don't care when they when we are in this world you tell them about Jesus they say no mimi ni ule msei naweza vuka pande ile nyingine peke yangu and which Jesus tells them let's go together to the other side but they say no we know how to swim if the storms come we will swim we are experts and we want to see these people. I have labeled this without pills. It is the group of people without Jesus. We will see how they behave when the storms come. Because one, because the storms will come in this world. So when the storms come for these people who say that they can be able to go alone, they don't care. They know, them. they already believe in themselves, they don't believe in Jesus. We want to see how they will behave when the storms come. Here comes the storms, and the storms came, the storms came, the storms came, the storms came. 
see when diseases like corona came because we are using corona as an example of a storm when corona came these people who didn't have jesus they were drawn and they even sank and they perish these are the people without jesus this other one is a group of people who have jesus who knows that they cannot make it on themselves they need jesus to cross over to the other side and these people say we want to go with jesus every day every step with jesus let's see what happens when they are put into when the storms come the storms have come the storms have come corona has come these people will never be drawn they are not sinking they will float because they will still remain strong and they will they will remain strong because jesus was with them is with them there are three key truths about storms truth number one is that key truth number one is that storm happens to everyone so all of us when we are in this world when we are on a journey to heaven we will be faced by storms but how do we behave when we are faced with with storms because we have seen that even those who say who believe in themselves storm came those who believe in jesus storm came so storm will come to all of us the second key truth about storms is that it will not last forever it will just take a short time it might take it might delay but it will come to an end but the question is during the time of storm what how do you behave do you behave like the ones without jesus or you swim in the storms until the storms come down number three is that when we are hard pressed when we are going through uh, hard situations and pain and loss we feel like the lord does not care like the disciples they found jesus sleeping on a pillow and they they were asking themselves does he not care that we are drowning the same way when we are faced with storms we feel like jesus has left us like he is not caring even now because we are going through a pandemic i'm sure there are so many people who are asking does god really loves us yes he loves us he cares for us and at his time he is coming to come the storms praise be to god amen amen now from this uh, scripture we will learn three lessons we will take three lessons from the scripture and lesson number one is i need jesus in my boat can you tell somebody next to you tell mommy tell daddy tell your sister that i need jesus you as a person everybody as an individual i need jesus in my boat for me to cross over because when we are on this world we are on a journey to heaven and storms will come the, uh, the story and we have learned that the the storms will come but when the storms come what will we do because the storms will come to the righteous and to those who are not righteous we need jesus in our boat you can imagine if the disciples decided to go alone if the disciples decided to tell jesus ah we ndanga tutakupata mbele ama wacha tuende kwa sababu they i am sure most of the disciples were fishermen so they even knew how to swim so they would have told jesus wacha sisi tuendange tupotelee hizi storms but they never did that what did they do they accompanied they went together with jesus 
the same way in this life. We need to go with Jesus. We need to invite Jesus in our heart. Our heart is our boat. In this life, we need Jesus. So everybody, tell somebody that I need Jesus in my boat. Number two, when storms come, because storms will come, what will you do? The disciples were swimmers, but they, they didn't start to save their lives. They ran to Jesus, the Savior, who is able to do mighty and great things. And they called him and they told him, Teacher, don't you care that we are drowning? The same way we are supposed to do. When storms come into our lives, we are supposed to run to Jesus. We are supposed to call upon the name of Jesus. So point number two, we are supposed to call the name of Jesus. Tell somebody, I will call the name of Jesus. And when you call the name of Jesus, if he was able to calm the storms for the disciples, he is also well able to calm the storms for us. Why? Because our Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise be to God. Number three, we need not to fear. Tell somebody you need not to fear. Teacher, why do we not, we need, why do we need, uh, why don't we fear? We are not going to fear because we have Jesus in our boat. Again, we know when we are faced with storms, what to do and what are we going to do? We are telling Jesus, we are calling upon his name through prayer. So from today, when we are faced with situations of storm, and even the current one that is ongoing, the pandemic of COVID-19, we will continue calling the name of the Lord. And again, what we are, not, we are going to do is to remove the fear and replace it with faith. Tell somebody, replace your fear with faith. And when you replace your fear with faith and keep your trust to Jesus, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what we can think or imagine. The disciples, even when they were calling Jesus, they didn't know that the weed will obey. Imagine, they were also surprised that he was able to stop the weed. If he is able to stop the weed, what else is he not able to do? What disease is he not able to heal? What storm is he not able to stop? We only need to tell him. We only need to remove to repress our fears with faith. Tell somebody, I will have faith in Jesus. I will have faith in Jesus. Praise be to God. And finally, we will live, we will have to leave the crowd. When the disciple, when the evening came, Jesus told his disciples, let us cross over to the other side. And disciples were told that they left the crowd. The Bible says that they left the crowd and followed Jesus. Today, Jesus is calling upon us because he already know that we will be faced with storms and he wants to stop the, the storms for us. And not only stop uh, stopping, he will even save our lives. So he is asking you today, are you ready to leave the crowd and follow Jesus? Tichanjeri today is saying, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. And that brings us to our memory verse today. And our memory verse is coming from the book of Psalms 118 and verse 6, part 1. And it says, The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. Let us say, say it together. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Hey, say it like you mean it.
now the Lord is with me I will not be afraid yes the storms will come but the Lord is with me if the Lord Jesus will be with me I will not be afraid so turn to somebody next to you tell them if it is daddy if it is mommy auntie brother or sister tell them the Lord is with you do not be afraid the Lord is with you do not be afraid now tell it to yourself the Lord is with me I will not be afraid the Lord is with me I will not be afraid so children let us not give up let us not uh, lose hope let us keep our hopes alive because the Lord is with us because from today we have learned what to do when the storms come and what are we going to do we are going to call upon the name of the Lord and when we call the name of the Lord through prayer he is ready and waiting to hear from us when we call he answers our prayers so let us call upon the name of the Lord and he will stop the, uh, the storms for us again we leave the crowd and decide to follow Christ only when we decide to follow Christ he is able to calm the storms for us and that is the word of God let us pray our dear Heavenly Father we want to thank you for your word thank you that you have spoken to us how we pray that that word will have a place in our hearts oh God how we want to thank you because of protecting us how we pray that Jehovah you will hide us where the evil one will do us no no harm this is a prayer of faith through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior amen children I hope you have learned today and until next time it is goodbye for now keep safe we love you but God loves you more bye